Worship the Mayor, um, Turner family, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm Erin Waheed, and I share, I'm proud to say I share my birthday with Edward Turner. But uh, I have to say I found it, uh, it's no surprise that he has a blue pack today, but the real surprise, rather, is that it's taken so long for him to be commemorated. During his lifetime, uh, he wasn't patronised by the great and the good with a knighthood or an MB or some other gong, despite the fact that his elegant designs uh, bought livelihoods, not just for those who produced them, but those who marketed them, those who serviced them, and tens of thousands more who derived pleasure from them uh, throughout the years. Um, the dedication and love for his designs is uh, epitomised by the fact that uh, when the new management tried to close down the production of his twin cylinder Triumph motorcycle, the workers, with the help of Tony Benn, um, actually took over the factory and ensured that that twin cylinder motorcycle, much in demand, uh, continued production uh, up until the company's closure in 1983 and it outlived all British motorcycle designs uh, and it was the last of the real, what people call the real British motorcycles. Uh, the delay in recognition may well have been uh, because it took a long time for dedicated research from the late Ivor Davis in his book, It's a Triumph, and uh, the late Jeff Clues in his Turner biographies uh, to tell us of the Southwark heritage of Edward Turner. Um, it's proven that we also got a good idea that of the humble beginnings of the man whose designs won countless races, trials, speech uh, records, and indeed celebrity status. Uh, Adding to the kudos of uh, the likes of Marlon Brando and James Dean, Steve McQueen, a frequent visitor to Turner at the Triumph Factory, and uh, even the Fonz, of course, <laughs> who uh, rides one of Turner's uh, Triumph 500 trophies uh, in the opening credits of, uh, of the television series Happy Days. Uh, his elegant designs were, uh, particularly his Triumphs, uh, endured to this day. They're still used to this day and are very popular very usable classic motorcycle. Indeed, the present Triumph company uh, use a lot of Turner uh, design, um, style, uh, introduced a lot of uh, Turner's design style uh, into their current Bonneville model. Uh, even his Square 4, which was designed in Peckham, uh, significantly outlived its pre-war rivals in the four-cylinder market. And indeed, was the basis uh, Late as the 1970s for a short run of uh, Healy motorcycles. Such was the integrity and popularity of uh, Turner's uh, motorbike. I would like to say that this blue plank uh, is significant because, like the products that he made, uh, this has been uh, this blue plank has been uh, selected by the people, voted for by the people, just as Turner's bikes were built by people for the people. He hasn't been patronised by the great and the good. He's been uh, elected to the Blue Plank uh, uh, Pantheon uh, by the general public because that's who he catered for. Uh, moreover, I think if anybody deserves a round of applause, it really is the research of Stephen Humphrey uh, because of his scholarship. One of the few addresses left standing um, on which to celebrate a man who really ought to be celebrated long before uh, today, much longer. Uh, and he ought to be an inspiration to our engineers of today and of the future. And uh, as I say, I commend you to this uh, Blue Pack event. Thank you very much indeed for voting for him and attending today. It's my pleasure as well to introduce uh, other people who uh, got a part in the Triumph and uh, Daimler history. Uh, Duncan Saunders from the Daimler uh, Club, uh, a patron of that club, and uh, John Rosamond, the last chairman of the Meriden Workers' Cooperative uh, that uh, ran uh, Triumph uh, and, uh, for during its final years, producing Eddie Turner's twin, and John S. Nelson, the, John R. Nelson rather, I do big pardon, uh, who is the patron of the Triumph Owners Motorcycle Club, which I'm proud to be a member. Uh, can I hand you over now to uh, Duncan?